Hey ladies, I'm here for my 22 and 23 week updates. Um, as always, I'm going to start with how Sophia is doing and then go ahead and go on to my um, symptoms and stuff like that. Um, but the reason why I'm doing these bi-weekly from now on is just that I didn't want my videos to become too repetitive and just kind of have the same thing in every single video. Um, I wanted to have more to talk about. Um, so I hope that doesn't bother anybody. I'm sorry if it does, but I just thought this would be a little bit easier. Um, I also wanted to ask you guys um, for video suggestions because it's been a while since I've done um, other videos besides pregnancy vlogs and I would like to incorporate Dallas into more of my videos. Um, I would like to, I say I would like to, but um, it's whether or not he wants to cooperate and be in them, so um, he's kind of camera shy sometimes. So, um, But if you guys ever want to see pictures of him or see how he's doing, you can always follow me on my family Instagram, which I will have linked down below. Um, I also have like a pregnancy, it was actually a TGC, but now it's a pregnancy um, Instagram. So I have both of those linked down below as well as my Facebook page um, because I do post regularly on all of those sites. Why is she doing great? Um, I did read on our Baby Center app that she is now able to recognize and hear voices outside the room, which is really interesting. Um, because last night, while Dave was reading a book to Dallas, and I was, um, while Dave, or while last night while Dave was reading a book to Dallas, um, I was sitting in there with them, and I was about to get up to leave, um, during the story to go do dishes, and Sophia, um, and baby girl started moving a ton. Um, she definitely really, she definitely really liked the story, I think, or at least recognized her daddy's voice, and it was amazing. Um, from the beginning to the end, she was just constantly moving. Um, it was just really cool and awesome to feel that and to be able to share that with Dave and um, have him be excited because he hasn't felt her um, yet. So every time that he goes to put his hand on my belly, she stops moving. It's like she knows what's going on. I also have seen her move from the outside too, which is really cool. So my symptoms are going. Um, one of the biggest ones is anxiety or panic attacks. never really had them until my second miscarriage. Um, and that's kind of when my anxiety started up. And I know that a lot of it has to do with my fears during pregnancy and delivering early or have, you know, having something go wrong. I know that a lot of that stems from that. And I'm, I'm sure um, pregnancy hormones um, don't help with that because I know when you do have a shift in hormones, your body kind of gets crazy. Um, so I know that, I know that that probably has a lot to do with it. And I know that when I'm having them, but in the moment, I feel like something's terribly wrong. Like, I feel like I'm dying, or I feel like something's wrong with, with the baby. Um, I just feel like this sense of anxiety. And the things that used to help me are no longer um, helping me cope with anxiety. Um, usually, the only thing that really works and that stops them right away is when Dave's near me and he talks to me and helps calm me down. Um, but that can't always be possible because he does work during the day. And I do get them quite often. Um, I've noticed them becoming more frequent in the second trimester than they were in the first trimester. Um, so I'm going to be talking to my doctor next week about other options um, because I'm the techniques that I used to use that help, like I said, are no longer helping. And I really don't want to go the medication route, but if it's going to be less of a risk to take medication than it is to have stress during a pregnancy, then I'll take the medication because I know that um, stress during pregnancy can reduce um, blood flow and oxygen to the baby and I don't want that to happen. Um, so I'm just looking for other techniques and other ways to kind of cope with the anxiety when it, when it happens. Um, I did ask on my personal Facebook. Um, you know what I could do and friends of him like you made a lot of great tips so if any of you guys have anything that have worked that has worked for you during those moments um, please please let me know because I just I feel like I'm losing my mind and it's honestly got me a little down lately and another symptom this week is um, heartburn heartburn has been a major thing this week um, besides anxiety and I noticed um, that it happens when I eat certain foods or have certain foods that have dyes in them so that's kind of been another reason why my appetite hasn't been that great because of um, the heartburn or acid reflux. Um, and I know, again, it's because she's growing <laughs> and pushing everything up too. So always, and again, with the contractions, still having those. 
Um, it's just kind of become normal for me. I did have a couple of painful ones this last week and um, I just got off my feet right away, drank some water, relaxed as much as I can, as much as I could, um, and they went away. So um, I'm going to be bringing that up with my doctor as well. I did try to call their office, but I don't think they were open. So I also wanted to ask you guys for video suggestions as well. Um, it could be pregnancy related or unpregnancy related. Um, I know that a lot of my videos have just been dealing with pregnancy and I really want to, like I said, get Dallas involved in more videos and get our family involved in more videos. So if you guys have any um, suggestions for those you, or if you're ever wondering how he's doing or how we're doing as a whole family, um, again, you can follow me on my Instagram. So I'll have this link down below in the description bar. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the belly, and I will see you for my next step update. Alright, bye.